that in 1984, this community learned that the chapel was going to be taken off the hill and used as a car repair garage down the road. And, and that came as a surprise to us. And we decided that we wanted to do something to resist that. So I got to go talk to the man who was going to use it down the road as a car repair garage for his grandson. And he agreed that we could talk about it and we could pray about it. And so about three weeks later, we did convene at the, cha at the Patterson School adjacent, and we talked and prayed about it, and he decided that he would leave it for the community. And so we paid him for any expenses he might have incurred, and since then, we have really restored it and maintained it. Samuel Ledgerwood Patterson, whose will gave the 1,400-acre estate for Patterson School, had built a cemetery here for his family, and he wanted a church to go with the cemetery. So in 1887, this church was built. And then in 1916, it burned because of a fire at Christmas time. And in 1917, it was rebuilt. And the, the Episcopal minister overseeing that rebuild was my great-grandfather, Reverend Hugh Dobbin. And this was the original chapel for the Patterson School boys. The Patterson School got started in 1909 after the death of Samuel Patterson and then his wife a year later. And in 1909, the school started and the boys trekked here every day, morning and night for their services. Today, we have two services, Easter Eve and Christmas Eve, with beautiful, mainly local music and a, a different minister, different uh, persuasion every time, but always interesting. And two wonderful concerts a year, and those are usually from out of the region. And, and everybody says that they like the acoustics.